Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 Online video. And in this video, I want to talk about the so called Red Dead Online beta update that happened yesterday. That would be February 5th of 2019. Now, I don't know if I would really call this an update, but it was released on Rockstar's Twitter feed, Rockstar Games. And it is that we are allowed for the rest of the week, for the total week, to get 25% off on certain abilities or certain things. Now, it is as stay well supplied and stockpile for emergencies with a combination of health cures, bitters, snake oil, miracle tonics, all 25% off for this entire week. Now, I don't know about you guys, but combined with this past weekend's update, I feel like Rockstar Games is just kind of feeding us kind of a load of BS. Now this weekend we did get five gold bars, which is always great, we can always use those for something, but it kind of feels like when they gave us those items, they basically just said, here, have them, please don't ask us any questions. That's kind of what it felt like. Now we get this. And I don't know about you guys as players in the Red Dead Online community. I only know about my specific character, but I am pretty much completely full of these types of tonics. I have been saying for a long time that I would actually like to see the possibility of us being able to sell some of these tonics to make a little extra cash. Now, I know that you can buy them for, you know, five bucks or four dollars or whatever it might be, but it would, really be, it would be really nice if we could sell them for maybe 50% of whatever the face value is. So that way when we do collect them from either NPCs or um, say gang hideouts or just random loot around the entire Red Dead world, we could actually sell these at least and get a little bit of money back from that. Because I'm completely maxed out. I don't really use them that much unless I get into more of a PvP fight, but I'm really not even using that many completely begin with so I don't know how you guys play but that's if you guys watch any of my other videos you guys can kind of see that I really don't use the tonics hardly ever I'm using more of the food or like the cooked like beef or whatever it might be the kind of combinations that allow us to get a little extra boost to you know whether it's the, the stamina or whatever um, that's how I kind of play but to me the 25% off on just these items is kind of kind of ridiculous because I'm not gonna buy any of these I'm not sure you guys are gonna buy any of these now I was looking at all of the the tweets that kind of went along with this and some of them are hilarious if you guys haven't gone over to Twitter and actually looked at this this message board this tweet and looked at all of the replies they are insane there is not a single person that replied saying that they were happy about this most recent update. Now, <clears throat> it's actually kind of funny. I actually just made a comment about it, like the five gold bars. It just seems like they're just telling you, telling us to just stop asking the questions that Rockstar isn't ready to answer. And that's where is this huge update with all this additional content that we've been expecting basically since day one. Now we were expecting something to happen in January. We did get a small improvement to the game of Gunrush and we got Gunrush in general, but that's all that we got. We got certain things that they were kind of like teasers about what's gonna be ha happening with griefers and some other things, but it's really not enough substance to really hold a lot of the core players together and especially the hardcore players. And it seems like, from what I have noticed, there hasn't really been a full lobby in quite some time. Now, when I first started, it seemed like there was thousands of players everywhere, and I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but it seemed like there was players everywhere that you turned. You were getting killed by somebody else, you were getting griefed. Now that's becoming less and less, and now we have the opportunity of griefing the griefer, and or be having like anti-griefer squads because there isn't as many people in those lobbies and you can get a lot more people that side with the anti-griefers versus the griefers nowadays. But I know that's kind of a different subject and I want to talk about the update. And they do talk about 
griefing updates, but I'm still, we're still all waiting for that to even be implemented. So when is that going to happen? Now, one of the last articles that I talked about in one of my last update videos, they talked about that it was coming out in a few months. Now, a few is way longer than any one of us want to actually wait for Red Dead to have an update. And I feel like a lot of us players are going to start moving on to other games, especially YouTubers. I mean, unless you're focusing specifically on Red Dead content, which I know that I'm not. I'm playing it right now because it is important to me and I do find the game fun. But at some point, with the content that we currently have, we are all going to just walk away from what we currently know as Red Dead Online. Now, I do want to continuously always dabble in it, but it's not going to be my primary vi my video source anymore if they don't do something and they don't do something quickly. Now, we got some big games coming out you know this first half of this year and we're looking at anthem i don't know how many people are going to be playing anthem but there's that we have the division 2 we have gears of war 5 there's you know certain computer games that are coming out so a lot of these things rockstar has to be looking at knowing that these other games are going to be coming out very soon and you're going to be actually losing some of your players to some of these other games now some of the players could have gone to GTA Online, which is always possible, and I've even thought about going over there because I, believe it or not, I've never played Grand Theft Auto Online before. Like, I've never created a character, never did anything with it. I don't even know what it's like. Not a clue. But I feel like a lot of people that are really big into Rockstar are just going to game hop, and maybe that's what they're hoping for because they're just not ready to kind of have all these content updates in Red Dead Online yet. But that's just kind of assumptions here, and I'm kind of just going off on a whim. But there's just so many variables, and I just really don't think that they should have released the beta when they did. I think they should have had more substance with it and kind of fine-tuned it a little bit more before the initial launch of the beta phase. Now, beta has been it has been in the beta phase for basically since the beginning of December or end of November, one of the two. So we are going on two months for sure that the beta has been released and now this is going on now the third month once we get closer to the end of february now it's pretty crazy to think about that that there hasn't really been anything added to the game except for slight economy changes uh, the cost of things have come down which is good but that also means that there's been some things that have been nerfed like the cougar locations and uh, even making money by collecting salmon has cut down drastically over the last couple months so it feels like yes the economy got better but we're also making less money and have less opportunities to do that so unless you're like focusing on one thing specifically and you're okay of grinding that all the time there really isn't much more to do now that's why we're all running out of issue or things to do inside of reddit online because it's very repetitive right now and there is only so much to do now I definitely suggest that you guys go and check out Rockstar Games' Twitter feed. It is hilarious with some of the comments that people are getting. The gifts that people have posted on a Rockstar Games' feed is insane. They're they're hilarious. You guys just... I don't even want to give any away. If you guys have seen them, then great. But if you haven't or just want to check out and give yourselves a little bit of a laugh to know that you're not the only one going... What the hell, Rockstar? What are you doing? You need to check it out because it's they are hilarious. So just go over to Twitter, type in Rockstar Games. It's one of the first things that's on their page. You just click on it and read it. There's what, like 700 and some replies. Yeah, it's almost almost 800 uh, replies. There's 4,000 hearts, which I don't really get why there's that many likes. But that's just something that's kind of mine boggling just in general so honestly 25 percent on those types of tonics is, is it's a joke it, it flat out is a joke come on rockstar please give us something that is going to help us improve as players give us something to do in red dead online i would there's so many different things that i would love to see happen in red dead online and they've been things that i've already shared so if you guys haven't listen to some of my ideas specifically about Red Dead Online, then I definitely recommend that you guys check out check out some of those videos because I do feel like I have some 
really good ideas and I've shared those with Rockstar. And if they ever do watch any of my videos, I hope that they do implement some of my, just my ideas. And even th some of the communities, community people that have participated even just on my channel alone have had some wonderful ideas that there's so many directions that Rockstar could easily go with Red Dead Online and they're just choosing not to for whatever reason. Now, I am gonna stick with them, but that doesn't mean that I'm only gonna be doing Red Dead Online, you know, maybe in a few weeks. I, I do plan on playing Anthem here in a couple weeks and there is a possibility that I could get it a week early and have early access. And there's some other variables that you might be able to get to have it early, but that's gonna kinda take some of my videos away from Red Dead because I'm gonna be focusing on Anthem. So it's not that they're gonna be losing me necessarily as a player, but that's less time that I'm gonna spend in the world. But I can tell you that I am never gonna buy any of their microtransactions. I think microtransactions are a joke. And if any company is charging money to actually play their game, especially online, it definitely seems like there's some huge issues and red flags with some of those types of, um, you know, company policies and procedures and whatever else you want to call them. It it seems very predatory, if you, in my honest opinion. But it really, that's all I really wanted to discuss in today's video. Just kind of give some of my feed feedback on what happened yesterday during the update. But I would love to hear what you guys have to think about it so go ahead and leave your comment your idea down below and I, I can't wait to see how many people just think that this update this supposedly quote-unquote update is was really an update so rockstar i'm sorry but this wasn't an update it was basically just says here here's 25 percent off of items you're never gonna use in red dead online just to shut you up and that's kind of what i feel like they did but anyway that's all the time that i have for today's video if you guys did find this video not even helpful it was kind of lame as far as not the video itself was lame but the update was lame but if you guys want to share your ideas down below please do that it would uh it would help our community out here and honestly i want, would just like to know what you guys think of this ridiculous update that happened yesterday but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming